Let's go to page 229 and start with number 1. You got x to the 5 times x to the 8. So this is a multiplication, so you want to use the product rule. So you're going to add the exponent. So this will equal to x to the 13. You just add the exponent. Okay, okay number 3, you got y squared to the 5th power. So this, you have to use a power rule. So power rule, you have to multiply. So make sure you know the difference between the two. So it would be y to the 10. Okay, number five, you have x to the seven over x to the two. So this is a division, so you have to use the quotient rule. So you, so you can multiplication, you add, division, you subtract. So it would be x to the five. So seven minus two give you five. Okay, number seven, you got y to the zero. So anything to a zero power is equal to one, unless the base is uh, zero. So if the base is anything other than zero, then to a zero power is one. Okay, number nine, you have a times a to the four. Okay, when you don't see a number, it means it's one. So this will equal to a to the five power, because one plus four give you five. Okay, number 11, x to the 4 to the 7th power. So this one, this is when you should use the power rule. So just multiply, so it would be x to the 28 power. Okay. Okay, okay 13, you have a to the 5 divided by a. So again, this is a division, so use a quotient rule. So div when it, you have division, you subtract. So be a to the four power. When you don't see the exponent, means it's one. So five minus one give you four. Okay, so you got z to the five over z to the four. Again, division, you subtract. So five minus four equal to one. So be just z to the one. Again, when it's one, you don't write anything. Okay, okay 17. You got 10 squared times 10 to the 5. So this is equal to 10 to the 7. Okay, again, you don't have to write it out. Okay, you can just leave an exponential form. 19. Okay, you got 10 to the 2 to the 3 power. So this one, you use the uh, power rule. So you multiply. So 10 to the 6. So you can product root you add, when you have multiplication you add, when you have exponent by exponent you multiply. Okay, so make sure you di distinguish between the two types. Okay, you got 10 to the 11 over 10. Again, when you don't see the exponent means it's 1, okay? So this will equal to 10 to the 10 because 11 minus 1, 11 minus 1 will give you 10. Okay, so 5x to the 0. Okay, so anything to a 0 power is equal to 1. But remember, exponent is only for what is immediate before. So 0 is only for the x. So this is equal to 5 times 1. Again, x to the 0 power is 1. And so this is equal to 5. Okay, 25, you have an x squared, y to the 3. This one, the base is different, so you cannot do anything to it, so this is it. Again, there's nothing you can do on this one, so do not do anything to it, again, because the base are different. Okay, 20, 27, you have 6x squared over 2x. So when you simplify, you do the number, and then do the alphabet, and do the group. So, so this 6 and 2, you can divide by 2, so you get 1 and 3. And and this one, the x squared over x will be just x, so it ends up be three x. So again, six over two is three. X squared over x is x, right? Because two minus one will give you one. Okay. Okay, you got a to the three, b to the two. This one, that the, the the, their base are different, so you cannot do anything, so that's it, okay? Again, nothing can be done on that, on this one. Okay, 31, you have 10x to the 4, 
over 5x to the 3. So this is equal to, so 5 and 10, you can divide by 5, so it be 1 and 2. And this one, x to the 4 over x to the 2 would be x, so the ends would be 2x. Again, 4 minus 3 will give you 1. Okay. Okay, 33. You have 12 h to the 4 k to the 3 over 8 h square k. Okay. So what, with this, right, what you want to do is, as you can, so you want to write it down so that way you don't forget. Okay, so 12 and 8, you can divide by 4. So divide by 4, you get 2. Divide by 4, you get 3. Okay, so again, write down 3 and 2 right away. Okay, that way you don't, you know, don't forget. Because if you cancel everything, then when you try to go back, sometimes you will forget and you miss something. Okay, then H4 over H2. Okay, when you cancel, you're going to get H to the 2, right? 4 minus 2 give you 2. And K3 over K will give you K squared because 3 minus 1 give you 2. Okay, and so that's it for this one. Okay. okay, number 35, you have 5 to the U times 5 to the V. So you have multiplication, so you have to apply the the definition of the, the product rule. So when you multiply, you have to add the exponent. So this is equal to 5 to the u plus v. Okay. Again, when you, when you multiply, you have to add the exponent. Okay, you got a to the 4 minus b to the 3 over a squared. Okay. Okay, so... This one, you cannot do anything to it unless you separate. But as a whole thing, because it's a B cube over here, so you cannot do anything to it. Okay, so just leave it. Okay, 39, you have y squared times y to the 4. Okay, so this one, you can just use the product rule. So this will equal the y to the 6. Again, when you have multiplication, you add the exponent. 2 plus 4 gives you 6. Okay, 41. You have a to the 6 divided by a to, uh, a to the 4. So this is the division. So division, you're going to use the quotient rule. So question, when you have division, you subtract the exponents to be a to the 2. Okay, you got z squared to the 4 power. So this one is a power, you have to use a power rule. So exponent of the exponent, you have to multiply. So it would be z to the 4 times 2 give you 8. Okay. Okay, 45. You got y to the 5 over y to the 5. Okay, so notice that same, so when you, when, when you divide, they will equal to 1. Or if you subtraction, this will equal to y to the 0, right? 5 minus 5 gives you 0, and anything to a 0 power equal to 1. Okay. Okay, 47, you have 3 to the 3 to the 2 power. So you have to apply the power rule, so you multiply, so it would be 3 to the 6th power. 2 times 3 gives you 6. Okay. You got h, k square. Uh, this one, not, nothing you can do to it, okay? Because they are different base, so nothing can be done, so just leave it. Okay, you got m to the 4 over n squared. Again, this one, nothing can be done, so just, just leave it, okay? The reason you cannot do anything to it because they are different base, okay? You have to have the same base uh, to do any of those uh, rules. Okay, number 53, you have 25 a cubed b to the 4 over 15 a b 3. Okay, 
So again, let's just do the number and go down the alphabet. Okay, so 25 and 15, you can divide by 5. So divide by 5, you get 5. Divide by 5, you get 3. So right away, the number will give you 5 over 3. Okay, then you go down the alphabet. Okay, so 8, 3 over A will give you A squared because 3 minus 1 will give you 2. And this one, B4 to the B3 over B3 will be, when you subtract, it will give B to the 1. But again, you don't write 1 as an exponent. Okay, so... Okay, 55. Okay, you got 2 times 2 to the 3 times 2 to the 2. Okay, so again, remember, when you don't see the number, means it's 1, right? Because this, this, there are 1 of them over here, right? So that's 1. So when you, you have to add all the exponents, so they become 2 to the 6, right? Because 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 2 give you 6. So be careful with that. Again, when you don't see the number, means it's 1. The exponent is 1. Okay, 57. So you got x times x to the 3 times x to the 4. So again, don't forget, when you don't see a number, it means exponent is 1, because there's, a, there's an x over here, right? So it means it's 1. Okay, so it would be x to the, so 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 4 it would give you 8. Okay, 59, you have x squared y to the 3, x to the 5. Okay, so for this one, you got x, you got y, you got x. So you only can combine this one with this one, okay? So this would be x to the 7, because 2 plus 5 gives you 7. And this one you cannot combine because it's different base, so just leave it, okay? And that's it. So again, you only can combine the one with the same base, okay, these two. Okay, 61. You got a, b3, a to the 5. So, again, so this one and this one can combine. So it become a to the 6, b to the 3. Okay, so you cannot combine these two together because this is a different base. Okay, so you just have to leave it. Okay, 63. So you got 3 to the a to the b. So when you apply the power rule, you have to multiply. So it becomes... 3 to the A times B, right? Again, when you multiply, become AB. So that's the power rule. Okay, number 65, you got 2 to the A to the 0 power. Again, anything to the 0 power is equal to 1, okay? So this whole thing to the 0 power is 1. 